Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another episode of On the Couch with Friends. Today, in front of me, a band called Punk Fontaine. But I'll let them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Chris. Hi, I'm Eugene. And I'm Gareth and from Punk Fontaine. And Eben is missing in action today. Hey, Eben, missing you. <laughs> we have a song about that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we do. Yeah. It's called um, Anna Marie. <laughs> right, so I'm um, starting it off with Anna Marie. Hello, Anna Marie, whoever she might be. <laughs> let's let's give let's give Eugene a microphone there. You cool, cool. Hi, hey, Eugene. Lucky, like yay. <laughs> like thanks, man. And Chris and you too, Gareth. Much appreciated that you guys are out here today. Yeah, thanks for having us. So, um, Eugene, give us a bit of a background on Punk Fontaine. What's happening with it? Where you come from? Those kind of things. Okay. Let's uh, go for around Fontaine. Like, uh, yeah, so we're all like pretty much friends for the last... 16 years. 10, 11. Well, yeah, like us. Yeah. A lifetime of friends since school. <laughs> <laughs> and then everything, yeah, uh, just went down and we started jamming. And then we found each other again after years. <laughs> That's great. How long was the break away from each other? Great. <laughs> <laughs> you know, absence makes the heart grow fun. Absolutely. <laughs> Great love amongst you. Hey, you guys. So, with, with Punk Fontaine, um, tell our listeners a little bit more about the, the genre of music that you play. Um, punk, is that something that is just blatantly punk? You're a punk band that's uh, from Rand Fontaine. I don't know. We were told that we sound punk. I don't know, really... For myself personally, I'm not sure what the sound is. I went for more of a new metal sound, but we're punk. Okay, okay. <laughs> and Chris, well, what are your thoughts on on the sound of your band? Look, I definitely think there's a there's a large punk influence with. I guess I can feel that new metal vibe to it, but there's also some like experimentalish stuff, especially with some of the um, the breakdowns that you do mm. with the odd times. So I don't know. It's just a uh, it's a fucking mess, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's a good sounding mess. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Clearly, clearly, as we can see, we, we've got three people out of the four on the couch today, and Chris is most definitely the most serious one of the lot. Guaranteed. Am I right, Eugene? Father yes. of the band. He fights with us all the time. I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> and, we're gonna have, and we'll have words about it. <laughs> you see, proof. Yeah. Yeah. We've got a song about this. <laughs> and to Nate Chris hates the movie. everyone <laughs> Chris hates everyone the, uh, the thing I like about that song is they wrote it for me before I even joined <laughs> alright all right. talking about writing the songs who does your, your writing predominantly um, is it you Eugene is it a collective effort among the band members it's definitely not me okay <laughs> <laughs> well Chris wrote the song I Hate Everyone but other than that all the cool songs I wrote. The other ones, that's all on Eugene. I think that's. <laughs> I think I hate everyone is the coolest song we have. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> what, what, what's the name of it? Well, the song's called "I Hate Everyone." I it's, hate everyone. Yes, yes. Yeah. So that but is it, on YouTube. But this is all the song. Uh, yeah, like uh, we did a live recording for it in 2019. I think it is. Yeah, just like so. Yeah, we were getting things going at that stage and then obviously lockdown happened mm -hmm. <laughs> and mm -hmm. it's like surprise um so yeah we did like a couple of live recordings at railways um uh that we released the one video for and then nothing else i think i think this is the live one not that no, one no no it's not this one Let's no see. Ticket, ticket, just do ticket punk fontaine that's we've only got two videos at the moment yeah, yeah. That, that one took me three years all right, let's let's check out the one at Randfontein. Uh, not Randfontein. <laughs> railways, <laughs> railways, a railways cafe. <laughs> so as as that track plays in the background, it's not very long, so we'll we'll return to that in a moment. But tell us a little bit more about this. This is really good live recording, and you had long hair there. Yep. Yeah. Yes. Tell us about that experience, man. It, it looked hell of fun. Having long hair. No, <laughs> oh. playing and recording at <laughs> Railways. I mean, Railways is such like, a fantastic yes. venue, dude. Um, it was like, 
because yeah over the years it just became like a second home in a sense mm-hmm. um like through the experience and what what, what uh, always been a sick venue and then we actually hooked up with stevie asked him like hey bro you want to record us because we were on a tight budget at the time um and obviously needed locations we just like set up live recording and we guessed it and Farnes and brendan helped us out with the video um yeah which was sick so it was just a it cool is. thing i think we did what it was three songs we did three there yeah yeah so it's also still with the initial of original drummer tristan um so a lot of changes have occurred you cut your hair well, you I grew my- your hair and Chris joined the band. Well, someone in the band has to have long hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not going to happen over there. <laughs> yeah, and like for some reason, Chris always finds his way to join our band. He always finds, I I he worms his way in, yeah? He worms it in. <laughs> you, keep, you keep fucking asking me. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about all the bands, guys. Old Bra- <laughs> what? Old, Old Brown, Brown and, and the, the Sherry's. Sherry's. Mm. Yeah, that, that was the previous band. Chris, were you part of that also? Yes, yes he okay, was. Okay, tell us about that before we carry on with Punk Fonte. You know, that was a funny story. Can we tell the story about how I joined that band? <laughs> no. <laughs> yes, yes no. That's, that's an absolute yes. A fully. We learned how to deal with drummers after that incident. Like I need a third microphone. <laughs> the lavaliers aren't Sorry. here yet. <laughs> okay. I know. You can take it. No, I was just like I'm leaning just... in. No, I tried I'll, to I'll sit closer. No, like, Sexy. Chris should tell this. So, I joined OBS, <laughs> and um, we had a few rehearsals, and there was a gig that was arranged, and um, the guys didn't tell the previous drummer that he was out. <laughs> we just started <laughs> practicing with him. Yeah. We just started. It was just but, convenient. Did he awkwardly rock up at band practice, and Chris, no, you were no, busy playing? No, he rocked up at the gig. <laughs> oh, my God. He was in, there. In yeah. Pot Stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That was that was the most awkward. It's not our fault he got married. <laughs> <laughs> well, how how dare you live live a happy life? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, rock started <laughs> is, is unhappiness and uh, we were young. Oh, we were twenty one and dumb and I don't know. We just wanted yeah, a gig. We were just stupid. We were like, it was new to us to like jam and like <laughs> opportunities were coming in. So obviously we like we met Chris randomly at one of the shows um, and. It just felt like destiny because, hey, here's this drummer new to Gauteng. I think you came from Jaba at the time. And he stays in Ranfontein. So obviously it's a sign. Yeah. Hey, we need a drummer. Get over here. Yeah, and we like used him for a couple of shows and then it never stopped. And unfortunately, the original drummer came to the gig. <laughs> yeah, it was just a lame awkward We didn't experience. handle it right. Yeah. No, not at all. Like, <laughs> not at all. <laughs> Shame, man. I, I hope he's watching. And I know, like, bro, we're sorry, dude. <laughs> they not. They no. told me. <laughs> I don't know. Chris is great. <laughs> I, I feel pretty sorry. <laughs> yeah, I know. What, was was there a lot of animosity? What is like that on, uh, <laughs> Bad vibes between was, us. Yeah, no. was it anti heas Yes, tell us about Gies, man. You're such a You've got a Gies shirt. Everything on, on your social presence says Gies. And, you know, it, tell tell our viewers a little bit more about Gies, especially the international... <laughs> <laughs> especially the international uh, viewers that uh, do not understand Afrikaans. So, um, yeah, I think the concept just comes from, like, high school or primary school or whatever when you have your athletic days and they're like your team spirit and like so it's your gears um so obviously it comes from that and just being i don't know gears like being i don't know excited excited I feel. Positive. yeah like yeah you know have a good um, attitude the Bring vibe you put out is what you receive back yeah. kind of vibes uh be lacquer. Be lacquer, yeah. Be lacquer. Like, don't be unhears. Yeah, don't be unhears. Don't be animos of that. Is, what? Is, is, <laughs> would that be a mingles term, unhears? Probably. Uh, when there's unhears in Afrikaans. Yeah. I wonder if Peach and Max is watching this. I, I hope you are, but let <laughs> us know if unhears is a, is a mingles term, please. Do you, go, do you guys know what mingles is? I have no yes, idea. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Chris missed the boat. He's a millennial. Yeah, I am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like an anglicisme. Yeah, no, 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 anglicisme. So you mix Afrikaans and English into the same word oh, and okay. sentence very f- 
Like, like usually okay. how we speak you see, English, yeah, we speak with we'll speak you. speak Afrikaans. Yeah. Because a lot of people, this is, I think, I think I find as an English speaking person that tries to speak Afrikaans is I can't. <laughs> 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 at least it, the, the term try is in there. Yeah. You know, at least you try. I did try once. <laughs> but it's always funny. Like it's, it's an enjoyable thing. Like, yeah, even when Gareth speaks Afrikaans, he's been getting great at it. Or well, he's been great at it. Pass that but it's still like I know he's a little salty. It still Pass sounds it fun. <laughs> Hello, Tani. My Afrikaans is very good. Thank you for the course. <laughs> Beautiful, man. Afrikaans. Mm -hmm. Nice, Gareth. Gareth, what guitar do you play? I play a Fender mainly, but I got myself a Les Paul recently, which mm -hmm. I'm loving. Yeah, but uh, my main guy, he's been with me since Old Brown and the Sherry's. And I don't know, I've played many guitars and I don't know, that one sticks with me. That okay. is my heart. I've got a Fender Strat, a nice red one. Very nice, man. Yeah. What's your history with guitaring? Has it been a lifelong thing, recent thing? Oh, yeah, no, I've been playing guitar since uh, since I started listening to Nirvana. Okay. And that's where it all started for me. Yeah. Okay. Cool, big Nirvana fan, Kirk Cobain. Yeah, yeah, that was like, when when I saw that shit and I was in primary school, I was like, whoa, it changed my life, eh? Fantastic, man. What about you, Eugene? Uh, well, I play with a P-Bass Deluxe uh, Fender. And yeah, it just was, so initially it was a Iceman, like Ibanez, which was really looking cool, but like probably the most uncomfortable thing to play. Oh, really? Um, and then did an upgrade, yeah, and it's just been with me ever since. Um, but yeah, I only started playing after school. Um, at the time, Gareth, like, wanted to start a band, and he was like, I need a bassist. And I was like, I've got a bass. <laughs> 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 like, oh. And then, yeah, just learned and started jamming from there. Good fun. I play the drums. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you knew he was next. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was getting all these looks and I was like, shit, I've got to cute. say something now. <laughs> I don't know. I've been playing since like 13. And I play whatever drums I get given. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Cool. What mission is it to get you guys to play at a venue? What what kind of take rider have you got? What do you, know, what I've do never you seen need to get on, on stage? I mean, Railways is a good example because they've got a great back line, I think, for the size of the venue. Um, yeah, what is what is what's your take rider? Yeah, usually bass amp and skeleton kit and some mics. <laughs> simple, <laughs> easy, must, easy. Yeah, yeah, it's a very simple setup. We don't, I don't know, we don't have any complex things. They want other effects and stuff. They bring pedals okay. and their amps. Like I, I feel like a guitarist is usually much more finicky about his sound, so it's a good thing to play with your own amp. Right. Uh, you can't necessarily expect it, but obviously bigger venues have that quality, like backline and they're like all these stacks and <laughs> way too much sound but like whatever i'm not a guitarist what do i know <laughs> it's punk man you just need fun, yeah. it's punk. get the people punk there the louder it is the better <laughs> <laughs> fantastic <laughs> now guys at the this the time of the recording um today what is today the third of march fifth fifth the fifth of yeah, March. I think you read your dates wrong, dude. My, oh. my clock over there is slow. It'll. Oh, I forgot I'm using this microphone. It'll probably pick that clock tick tock tick tock the whole time. I'm so sorry. Um, but like the sound of impending <laughs> doom. Is, it's a little bit. It's a little bit slow. <laughs> get some. At the time of the recording, um, you guys have got one single out as Punk Fontaine, um, "Get Up," which many of you would have heard on Berg Studio on my shows before. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys. I mean, it's it, you make the music. I just play it. So, other than Get Up, new singles that's in the pipeline to be released after this recording. So, um, we got something coming up in June, July as a second single we'll be releasing. It's called Try Hard. Mm -hmm. um, Very fun yeah, song, that. It's quite fun. Let me just say, all of our songs, they, they differ immensely. Like the vibe of Get Up is, we thought would be one of our first to introduce as it's one of the, you yeah, know, one of the like general sound of yeah, us. Eh? The middle ground sound. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But all our songs are quite different. So this one is a complete change. Um, I love the rapping in that That's a bit of rapping if you... Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> My favorite yeah. part. A I bit of rapping. 
<laughs> You'll I notice I don't look on like our it, but I fucking love rap. Insta page, Kanye West endorsed the song. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I think I saw that. Yeah, yeah I actually <laughs> shared that also. Yeah. yeah, so that's a bit of a hint towards this song. Uh, but still in a punk vibe. Still punk vibe, yeah. Still but the same rapping. vibe, but it's kind of like, like that metal, Beastie Boys. Kind of yeah. a Beastie okay. Boys, yeah. Very kind nice. of a thing going on there. That will drop sometime June, July, we're planning there. Uh, maybe before that, we will have a B side live recording. We'll try to arrange something. Maybe we'll get you into Studio 31 for uh, from the live room too. Oh, yeah, mm, yeah. that would be great. You must practice. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> you have. <laughs> yeah, but you must. <laughs> I think oh. Chris is the only real musician like, in the band. <laughs> yeah, if he's tight, we're tight. Yeah. Okay. That, but that's, that's, I suppose that is your job, is to keep him tight. It's not true. But that's why we ask you to play all the time. The idea, everyone keeps time. It's not my job to keep time for you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, carrying on. He's the only, well, he, Chris. Chris is the only real musician yep. in the band. Now, before we get to your your, your your side of the technical drumming, why why would you guys say that he's a real musician? What what makes you lesser musicians to, to Chris? Um, Eugene, how do you hold an F chord on guitar? I'm an F string. <laughs> <laughs> that's why okay. no Chris uh, I, I don't know how to hold an F chord either I don't know how to drop F bombs <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> now Chris uh, did all the studying eh? isn't I that studied, right yeah. yeah so he does that doesn't X's make me a musician though I, I think we can be very clear that drummers are not musicians what, what, are, what did you study drums drums yeah so he's got the paper saying he's a drummer okay. yeah and you can keep a 4-4 four four. yeah okay it was a very game. long and expensive way to learn how to play a 4-4 four four. <laughs> 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 yeah, I learned so, from so self-taught on the guitar, the bass guitar. Like you heard something, you found it on the fretboard. No, not even like that, bro. Guitar pro. <laughs> <laughs> ow, ow. Guitar pro, all the way. <laughs> please, please elaborate. I don't know. I'm a guitar pro pro at this moment. Um, it's part of my songwriting process. When I come up with something cool, I pump it into guitar pro and I lay that shit out. Then I can play it back, and obviously it doesn't sound right, but that. Uh, gives the whole structure and foundation of our songs so yeah and when it's down then he just forwards the thing we're all like oh, okay cool i have to do this or like i have an idea of what you need mm. to do like you prep for it for the next rehearsal and that's like kind of the writing process over the next three weeks like building on that uh so it kind of helps but yeah i was like never into tabs i was just like hey what are you doing? okay cool i'll do that okay so, <laughs> so you're a good listener Yes. Have you got a girlfriend? I'm a great listener. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a great listener. <laughs> Do you have a girlfriend, Eugene? Well, maybe. Oh, uh, okay. It's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated, yeah. Let's, let's move along. <laughs> Ladies, it's only complicated, okay? <laughs> and he's a good listener. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Ran Fontaine, are you stuck there? Did you move there? Uh, grew up there. Like, I've got a job there. Uh a lot of a lot of depth there <laughs> now <laughs> he bought a house recently. but yeah no like i think randfontaine's pretty sick i don't see myself sitting in traffic every day ever i'm like five minutes from work so it's great it's good fun yeah and the band's there so gareth yeah no i love uh, randfontaine i could move if i wanted to but i don't know i'm a sentimental i'm like sentimental i love the place i love every corner i know what I've done on every corner. <laughs> <laughs> I know those. I know all the spots. Graveyard. I know the people. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I don't see myself <clears throat> moving. I love the small town. Right. Now, Chris, you don't live in Rampontain. No, I've recently moved to Krugersdorp. I'm surprised they haven't kicked me out yet. <laughs> <laughs> How do you guys approach uh, band rehearsals? Um, do you like is a weekly thing, bi-weekly? Yeah, it's it's mostly weekly if I remember correctly. If I if I, if I recall, <laughs> yeah. when he when he does go to practice, yeah. one, he once just or twice a week, shows and he plays and he kicks other band members out. <laughs> yeah, that's ooh, that's that's a bad that's history. We're practicing every second night with Darby. That's the <laughs> <laughs> just in case. Not that he knows. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we rehearse weekly. We run through the sets, do um, do set and run throughs with the um, the new songs. Break those down. Always practice our sound check. Very important. Mm -hmm. And yeah, 
It's Where is, is that at your house or? What? Yeah, we've got a little studio out Ranford inside that we that we rehearse in. So you make the three hour commute out to Ranfontaine once a week. <laughs> no, well, I I actually it's work not in really Ranfontaine. three hours. It's like twenty kilometers. <laughs> <laughs> well, it depends on how badly I do it. <laughs> You can go via Orkney and Clarkston yeah. back to Ranfontaine. It'll yeah. be like a three-hour trip. Absolutely. <laughs> Just stopping for some coffee. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, yeah, I know we rehearse in Ranfontaine in our little studio, and it's like a mm, nice space to make a lot of noise and not be um, bothersome to anyone. And there's a generator. Oh, oh nice! Yeah. Yes, because great. You're in South Africa. Yeah, you you stay in Krugersdorp now. Mm. You don't get load shed. I, what? I'm, yeah. I don't know if I get load shedding. I've never been there with load shedding. Yeah, because there is no load shedding in Kruger's Door. Really? Fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, buddy. That's the only reason why I'll tell people I'm from Kruger's Door is because I don't get load shedding. <laughs> what nice. Is everything close to the hospital? Like the what is this? Is close yeah, to I never knew hospital. about this. <laughs> if I knew this... <laughs> We're going to have to change our name to Punk von Dorp. <laughs> 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 now guys you're talking about um the sounds of the songs being different um and not staying in the same monotonous kind of uh sound to your music first one get up check it out everywhere especially Bandcamp. you guys are on Bandcamp. no yeah. i was actually thinking of telling you we should get it on Bandcamp. <gasps> it's not on Bandcamp. no I'm sure because like yeah i saw the articles and stuff that happened this week with epic games and stuff like buying them and what, what, what I don't know we should get it on there I'll put it on Bandcamp by the time It'll, this airs yeah, <laughs> by the time <laughs> this comes out and yes, you're watching it on, it on your phone your laptop if you use a tablet then uh, you'll be able to get it on Bandcamp yes um, the other tracks this might be released just before your sing second single which is more like a Beastie Boys rappy kind of vibe how do the other the rest of the eight other songs how yeah so we what? got some slow ones we got some metal ones with a lot of screaming right? not angry screaming just yeah. loud screaming yeah just loud screaming <laughs> <laughs> um eugene tell us about that uh, sad song of yours that you write uh, <laughs> which one <laughs> <laughs> the one that you, it's about you and your girlfriend it's called the bad sex <sighs> like every time you quiz me in the like so throughout the show obviously we like every song has like this like little thing and you can like tune someone about it mm. but after the initial tune you can't defend yourself because you're too late but bad sex definitely and then that happens about every time <laughs> Steph, this one it didn't happen with this song with other uh, songs, that's yeah weird. it's a very slow song it's actually quite cool and it's in a weird timing which i hate i'm really overall bad with i don't know norm <laughs> yeah, yeah weird. that is weird it's not four four <laughs> like it doesn't make sense to me <laughs> yeah. i have to practice it and it doesn't i don't understand it but yeah um yeah so that's a very chilled song which is like yeah just about being in a dark space it's not really even relevant to the song's name i feel <laughs> even though i didn't write it <laughs> but it's too late to say that <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's like just being in a dark place and then overcoming that like whole thing and then having yeah, bad sex. Yeah, it's a very chill song. So it okay. varies like overall the set. I don't know. It's a constant. I don't know. There has to be chias. Yeah. So Hiesi, there's a consistent the chias thing. Chias man. Throughout the set, it just goes up and down. Yeah. What's it called? Bad, bad sex. sex no? mm. Just because. Just remind me, does bad sex go into soft Richard or does soft Richard go into bad sex? <laughs> they go next to, each other, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> next to each other. So we got another one of our more chilled songs. One of our first ones uh, is called Soft Richard. Um, we didn't want to say soft dick, so we said soft Richard, yeah. naturally. Soft rooster. Just goes better. <laughs> yeah. Eugene, tell us about your song. <laughs> <laughs> well that one's actually quite cool i'm like, not even needed anymore you enjoy <laughs> that side of the camera <laughs> um that one's actually quite cool because we used to it was like two or three years where we like went for pre-christmas like christmas eve drinks basically but there's only one place open in ranfontein on christmas eve so with ranfontein being pretty rough that place is the roughest <laughs> or at least the second i don't know there's probably worse but <laughs> <laughs> we always like went out 
got wrecked just a great time yeah and then it just like created the song because of like this guy like not wanting to go home alone and like it's just an up and down thing yeah i don't know i think it's like written pretty cool yeah, like a very storytelling vibe so okay, yeah. um i've seen yeah that's one thing i've noticed is like as soon as it starts because usually the set is quite hard and stuff so it's like pumping and then this one brings the whole set down right like a palate cleanser yeah mm. and i've seen people like standing there and they're listening to this like story which is like i was like oh wow well, look at that i'm like surprised like <laughs> <laughs> these people are listening to us yeah like what is happening here like there was this i remember this one show like there was this guy who looked pretty unimpressed throughout the whole show but he didn't leave um which is good he stayed yeah yeah he stayed <laughs> but like his facial expression was just like checking this out and as soon as this song started he like you could actually see he's like intentively listening i think intentive is the word yeah uh, met andach yeah, yeah. met andach and yeah. he's like listening to this and like you know giggle here and a giggle there because the lyrics are quite funny um yeah and that was actually cool seeing it um it's a good thing because that guy was definitely going to beat you up if, if he didn't like that song. <laughs> <laughs> Have you guys ever had any like negative direct uh, conflict with with audiences? Not as Punk Fontaine, not to our faces. Oh, okay. But as OBA. <laughs> yeah, we had a lot of people telling us we were bad. <laughs> well, it started an internet sensation of sorts. Where that that <laughs> lady was calling us satanic. Satanic. <gasps> yeah. Yeah, but as a Rand Fontaine sco, like actually, yeah, because like <sighs> I saw a memory like on eleven years ago. Yeah. Um, we were proud of that one. Well, we won a battle of the bands. That was the first thing I won in my life. Yeah. Great <laughs> Satan. <laughs> you know, that paid for our you. Porch weekend recording our EP in this dodgy <laughs> studio living off of bananas and slop chips. Uh, that was great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. My heart is going to explode before this interview is over. <laughs> yeah, Chris, tell us about your heart condition and Red Bull. Oh, I don't Red have a heart Bull. condition. I don't think. I could do. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I hope not, dude. But um, my um, my eyes are very warm and I'm struggling to sit still. Right. So um, just over there, the, the, the disclaimer that you mm-hmm. sign it, because I do not cover any death or injury when well, in my studio. <laughs> There's not too much to cover for death. You'll just have to drag me out. Drag <laughs> <laughs> you on the sidewalk. Yeah. <laughs> Like, they pick up the bags yeah. the <laughs> How many of your songs are recorded for, for, for well, at, at this time of the recording? Uh, just one at this time. We only have one. Is We've that, is that uh, Get Up? Get Up. And okay. the others we did live recordings, but yeah, the official, only one official recording at this time. I think the uh, the model of releasing singles works a lot better than releasing albums at the moment. Yes, I think, I think that's... That I think there's there's a lot more space for that, especially the way people consume music. I don't think people put down albums as much as they used to. This so. is true, and I, I would love for you guys to elaborate on that and, and share your feelings and thoughts on why it is um, potentially loosely used a better way of releasing music. Um, because many artists come and go from and to the couch, and there's so many of them that say yes or no like we'd rather do an album um but i personally feel also that releasing in in shorter period of time smaller amounts of music is the way to go i mean why why do you guys feel that way look i i think that um that albums are are a good thing to do if you want to release conceptual work that's something from start to finish but if you're if you're looking to gain traction and to uh, to build your 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 fan base i think it's easier to to release bit by bit because the way people consume music nowadays we don't put records in on anymore we put spotify or deezer on and you put a playlist on and things cycle there around so that's that's one man's opinion <laughs> it's the drummer's opinion yeah like i think <laughs> the real musician in the band yes <laughs> he knows what's up yeah i think when it comes down to because like for instance the effort like interview you had um that guy writes like a machine he does man. like he's got stuff to pump out i think he's in advance like he's releasing his previous album now yeah like kind of yeah, he's, he's three i think yeah like so some people are like in that but obviously he's been doing it for years like that guy's been jamming yeah man since he was a light <laughs> yeah if you haven't seen the efforts name on a casey bliss um on the couch podcast then check it out it should be on my channel somewhere uh, 
Emmanuel, make it happen. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, yeah, check it out and uh, yeah, enjoy it, man. It's great. Yeah, so that pumps for them, but I think the smaller, yeah, smaller bits is just cool because you can constantly like change your not identity, but you can change your brand with that yeah. based on it. I think Short Straw nailed it over the last couple of years by releasing like a single. And then that's their thing. And eventually, at the end of the day, they'll drop the album, if I'm not mistaken. Like, from what I understand, how they did it. Um, and that's cool, because people are excited about it. And then, like, like a next month. Most big years. Yeah. Now, with Rand Fontaine being far from everything, how many other musicians do you associate with in your dorpi, in your town? I think Rand Fontaine is a city. It's an extended mm. dorp town. Maybe now. Yeah. 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 It is, and it joined with Western areas. So the really? it's like a whole, you know, whole yeah, municipality. It's a so massive it's like thing. Yeah. 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 But yeah, are there are there many other like-minded musicians in Randfontein? No. Like mm-hmm. the thing is, Tristan. Um, yeah, Tristan's also from there. So I okay. used to. Well, I'm in a band with Scarlett Will with him. Um, and then he played drums for us initially. So Tristan is one person I can think of. There's like a handful of people that jam, but no one that's really like involved in the scene, let's say. Okay. Um, I think, I don't yeah, know, no. they're probably hiding. Okay. Or we might be too old for them. They don't hang out in the dodgy pubs we hang out. <laughs> you old men hang out. <laughs> you <old>? Yeah. <laughs> you are, all three are already in your thirties, right? Yeah. Okay. I got a compliment uh, last week yeah. at Luz. Guy was like, oh, you like, so you're in 2022. Nice. nice. Yeah, but it is. Uh, you, you don't <laughs> look like you're in your 30s. Uh, Hashtag like like compliment. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next morning, driving like past a little, I don't know, teenager giving out flyers, and he's like, thank you, Wim. He gives me a like, <laughs> Don't call me Wim. No, please. like that whole, like, I build, and then he's like, thank you, Wim. And I said, <laughs> Yeah, on the notes of age, teenagers. We have this song that we'll be releasing a B-side of. And I don't know, that's like, this song is written like, man, I'm 30, but I, I don't feel 30. I still feel like a teenager, bro. I feel I still feel like I run around and do stupid shit all the time, like a, like teenagers do. Right. I don't feel 30. Like when I was a teenager and you'd see someone that's 30, it's like, yo, that's a whim. He's got his shit together. Yeah, like <laughs> he doesn't like watch cartoons anymore, man. Only difference now is your body sore the next day. Yeah. Like yeah. A little <laughs> <Your> body <laughs> <hurts>. <laughs> so, Wait for it. You've got a while to go to get to me. <laughs> <laughs> My knee is so fucked. <laughs> <laughs> ah, guys. Um, what, what is your, your mission statement with Punk, the, Punk Fontaine? Um, and what, where are you going with the band? What is what's your, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Your aspirations for the band. Be big and run Fontaine. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, that's, a, that's a good yeah, start. Yeah. yeah, I think like for me personally, like we all got jobs and stuff and this is like our release. Like yeah. this is what we do. So like whatever we like write or jam or release, if we have one like on it, that's sick. Like it's like... Or, someone like, enjoyed um, it. Someone random. Like I did like not your mom. Like they love you in any way. Like, they'll like it in any way. Yeah. It sounds like this. Uh, um, but yeah it's just like doing it and like i don't know i want to do cool gigs like just that obviously those vibes and like the experiences we've like had over the years has been sick so we still doing it so yeah i don't know every weekend is like a new adventure kind of vibe um yeah i think i'm just yeah, just do Gies it. Gies it, baby. Gies it. Hashtag Gies. Um, where, where can people see you guys? Online presence, um, your handles, those kind of things. And um, where where do you frequently play? Your, to to well, in Randfontein, do you ever play? And where else do you play? So, uh, we are on Insta and Facebook. Punk Fontaine. P-U-N-K Fontaine. Punk Fontaine. Uh, you can... Yeah, so you'll just find us there on Insta and on Facebook, like I said, why'd I say that twice? Because you can. <laughs> so, uh, you okay, so we're, Red Bull we're on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're mostly gigging at the moment at Rumors Lounge, uh, Jar Bar, Railways, just in these areas. We're taking any gigs we can find, because eh? we, I don't know, we do about two gigs a month. 
Um, yeah, and we'll announce all of that on our socials. Uh, come check it out. Got a cool show with Fuzzy. Yeah. In April. I yeah, think. April. It's like probably a like We're a quite excited. <laughs> We're quite excited for that one. Have you heard the new single? Uh, well, at the time of the recording, um, what is it called? Believer. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, yeah. Mongrel Records. Pretty sick now. Like, obviously, it's we've been growing up with Blunt and like all those like Blunt the magazine, yes, not the yes. split. <laughs> but maybe oh, yeah, I, yeah. Know, I, know, I, know. <laughs> I can't speak for them. <laughs> um, yeah, so of, like that was the cool part about that time. Like that was our influence. Like that showed me, oh, there's bands around us. I think I was like 16 or 17 at the time. Like small, like the bands is no darny. Mm. Um, so it's like, oh well. Uh, I think Lark was probably one of the biggest mind-blowing experiences. That, like they had a compilation album that they released, and all of those things. I'm like, how? How is this possible around us? Like, what can you so yeah, like it's pretty cool. Like, excited for that. Rumors Lounge, railways. That's far to drive. I mean, even from me, you guys are even another like twenty odd kilometers. N14 mm. is a winner. It is a winner. Hey? <laughs> then where do you get off? R21. Uh, where do you get off, Eugene? No, Marbius. Where do you get off? <laughs> 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 yeah, Eugene, where do you get off? <laughs> uh, to get the Bretta. Yeah, Bretta <laughs> Avenue, Bretta take a right, right and then okay, you're right yeah, there by railway, eh? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and we got a nice venue close to us, which is Rumors Rock City, there by Westgate. It's just um, off the road, yeah. Yeah. Love that yeah, back line there. Noord. Like Yeah, in the west. You know where Henry Portrait is? You know, you there. know any of there. <laughs> not close to there. I won't be able to get there from you. <laughs> Guys, I think, I think we need to to add something uh, new. Maybe we'll start with with Chris. Shit. No, 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 no. This <laughs> is this is your opportunity. <laughs> That's what I was afraid of. <laughs> right. Tell our viewers something uh, interesting about your band members. Interesting about my band. Members. Mm, something yeah. that that people generally won't know unless they watch this podcast. I don't know anything about my well, band I can members. See, I can see Gareth is, is very apt to, to no, say I just, something. I don't know. Well, while you think about that. Yeah, you, you start. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, it's not relevant to <laughs> like Punk Fontaine, but yeah, like we had this one show in Poch. Um, it was a surprise show. Well, yeah, kind of surprise. Like one of the bands canceled and they asked us if we want to jam. Mm. And I think it was probably like two and the guys at the bar, it's called Memphis. It's like, oh, you guys didn't use your bar tab. <laughs> and then Garrett, like <laughs> got a tray of like I think it was straw rum and tequila if I'm not tequila mistaken like for something. the whole bar tab he's like walking there the bar like, was closing yeah. bro. <laughs> so so yeah. like, okay tequilas <laughs> like after that hoid it and eventually we're like because we didn't make a plan to where we're crashing or whatever and um, we just like set up camp in the parking lot and oh, eventually nice. the uh, engineer at the time like Carl from the dandies comes out and he's like hey Hey Owens, you look on his slop me. And he's like, being a pot. like, yeah, but we felt we didn't know better, or like it was, wasn't unsafe. But he was like, hey, Nia, sorry. And he's like, you look on ye, like they were staying just next door. So it ended up like me and the guitarist that's there, and Chris was like sharing a room. Gareth didn't want to join us. They tried. <laughs> they tried. <laughs> they tried. Yeah, and we like all like together in this room. Best sleep ever. Like what a bonding experience. <laughs> nice. But yeah, I slept in my fun. car. Yeah, I didn't want to join. He was just like, Nuh. and the next morning, <laughs> obviously he's bleak. Because Guys, why, why didn't you <laughs> wake me up? Why didn't you bring me in the house? <laughs> <laughs> oh, we were trying so hard. Yeah. Oh, good fun. Good fun. Yeah, I think so. Cool. Another that's another story about the time we rocked up at a gig and there were no mic stands, and we had to use string use, and hang the mics. Yeah, hang them from the rafters. That like was really a cool gig, though. <laughs> yeah, we hang, it, hung it, them. it worked obviously. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, well, until well, you, I mean, until you, if you approach the mic too quickly, you'd get, <laughs> <laughs> you'd get like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you'd, you'd get a decay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then you'd have to be careful for when it came back at you. Yeah, we had some good times in Poch. That was yeah. Old Brown and the Sherry's days. Mm. Uh, Chris drove into my mom's car. Remember that? I remember that, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit, that was bad. Protein eh? deficiency. Probably after that week. Yeah. 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 Well, it wasn't a potassium deficiency. <laughs> <laughs> no, we came back that the one day we came back for a battle of the bands, won like a bottle of brandy, and then drove no, back. Crack and rum. Crack and rum, no, you're right. Yes. I photo the other day. Like yeah. Good times. 
<laughs> was that was that winning winning prize? Well, I think it was just like for the night, or I don't know. I can't remember. I think mm. it was to open for Jack's Panic no, later on. Fuck off, Was that the fuck off one? Maybe. I don't know. Durex Battle of the Bands. Whatever. We got a bottle of uh, crack and rum, which was great at the time because we were broke kids who didn't know better. You know. We weren't talking about pension funds back then. <laughs> yeah, but now, <laughs> like doing when our lawns. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you guys like to play with on what stage? Oh man, one of my dream gigs would be a park acoustics gig, but I know that they've moved that away from Four Track. Um, is it Four Track Monument? Mm. But that would be that's like oh, I don't know. That's just great. Yeah, that that's vibe always is been great. like a, a dream. Then I can yeah. retire. Yeah, and hang up the bass. But now we can never retire. <laughs> <'cause> <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <laughs> and I think for me, I want to hit a, hit the stage with Desmond and the Tutus. I haven't I haven't jammed with them, but that would be quite a sick event. I think Desmond would be sick on what stage? On what stage? Um, also Park Acoustics. Yeah, yeah, also no, that that okay. would be Splashy. that would be the ideal. Splashy Finn. Mm. Oh yeah, that would be sick. That would be really sick. Yeah, I've uh, I haven't even been there before, but I've been checking that out for. Many years. They've they like been going as long as Opie has, eh? I wanna say. Is it, is it not long? Maybe, long. Maybe longer. I, I'm under correction. I've never been there though. Yeah. It's a bit out of the way. It's so not you guys hour can check from out uh, Freebird Festival down in Hamtus from the first to the third of July. He's talking about Desmond and Tutus, we're taking them down with us. Oh, and, is it? um, it's gonna be fun, man. If it's name on Casey Bliss. Um Isn't there three more seats? Like we don't need Urban. <laughs> <laughs> but a whole bunch of bands from the Eastern Cape as well as a ton um, Black Hat Bones also coming up from Gauteng mm. uh, check it out when you can uh, if you're down there in Port Elizabeth or surrounding areas get a ticket it's not too bad but anyway coming back to Punk Fontaine before we start saying goodbye guys final words from your side Chris you haven't you haven't actually actually you haven't said which stage you'd like to play oh um, oh, shit, I, I forgot know. about that <laughs> So yeah, I really thought I got away with that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I like I like doing like long festivals, places like Millipop and stuff like that. I don't really know about about Millipop stages. is this weekend. Yeah, no. Re- on the recording, we're not there. <laughs> Swack. Okay. Thanks, thanks for thanks for cancelling your plans to go to Millipop <laughs> and <laughs> come hang out in my lounge. <laughs> we'll, we'll be there afterwards. Like we're leaving here straight. Chris packed the car. I, I didn't know you were coming. <laughs> <They'll be going laughs> <off>. <laughs> but yeah i like i like doing big festivals and stuff like nice big stage day shows the, yeah, day the shows, yeah day, day shows, shows. Like outside day shows, day shows. Yeah. those are like a yeah, yes. super great yes a little bit of day drunk you know everyone gets a little bit pissed we get to sound good <laughs> 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 that's the way i think fantastic so yeah that's it Any final words? um Amalgamate. 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 Who should amalgamate? We should amal- amalgamate. Just, you want to join the band? Let's amalgamate. Let's <laughs> all join <laughs> Punk Fontaine. Guys, how's about, have you ever thought of recording a track and have gang vocals in a live, like, for instance, at uh, Railways, um, have gang vocals on one of your tracks? Well, a lot of our tracks have Ooh. gang vocals. Yeah. Oh, really? On, yeah. But obviously, I haven't executed them in that sense yet. Okay. Except for Tristan featured on this, like, you know, you had this cool like sorry like you had this cool like i don't know very high harmony backing you can chorus. yeah you That's can hear that. the backing that tristan did on this chorus and at our last gig uh, tristan was there and he jumped on stage and he hears that eh? yeah so that's the closest to a backing gang vocal collaboration we've had so far cool amalgamate 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 Red Bull. Yeah, um, I just want to say thanks for playing our songs, man. Absolutely, man. Thanks for your music. Thank Fucking you. Bro. Awesome. I love. Yeah. Get also, up. I think you were the first one that played our single. First I think time, so yeah. too. Yeah. I believe I was. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. yeah. Thanks for the support. Thanks for inviting us on your couch. Um, nice couch. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about the stains. <laughs> it's okay. We left some more. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Gareth. Carry on. No, yeah, oh. that's it, man. Uh, thanks. Thanks, appreciate you. Yeah, thanks, guys. This was this was super fun. Fantastic. No, I'm gonna go outside and have a heart attack. <laughs> Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull. Red Bull.
Ja, ja, bra. <laughs> ja, thanks for having us. Um, yeah, like obviously people can follow us on like the social media. I think Gareth's getting us some TikTok. Then we're gonna do some silly dances. I'm gonna, yeah, we're gonna get Eugene to do the dances. Yes, and I'll I'm, I'm a very fun. good dancer. I've got a lot of practice there in the little socky. Yeah, Ron Fontaine is the socky center of Gauteng, eh? Yeah. <laughs> I haven't been at Bundu Inn once in my life. No, man. No. I don't even, I stay kilometers uh, away from it. Uh, and I've been there for like meetings and lunches. No, and no, I, One I night haven't. I was invited to go and I said, no, thanks. Yeah, I don't the know. amount of times a person has stuck. been punched in the face directly correlates with the amount of times you've been to Bundu Inn. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no, like, there's certain places I don't go to just to prevent stuff. But it's funny because it feels like I've bumped more, bumped into more situations with my short hair than my long hair. Oh, really? Incidents. I, was, I don't, I'm not yeah, going to Maybe with the long hair, they don't want to punch a girl. So maybe, now that you've cut maybe. it. Maybe <laughs> now they're like, yeah, now it's a, now it's a fair fight. <laughs> they're like, okay. <laughs> oh, good fun. Good fun. Uh, yeah, man, so, so check it out on cool. TikTok. Instagram, Facebook, and um, have yes. And Bandcamp. And Bandcamp, yes, at the release of this. And the <laughs> Ranfontein Herald. Ranfontein Herald, yes. yes. No links in the description. <laughs> 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 Guys, I want to thank you. And the missing one on the couch, Swak. Yeah, Ben. <sighs> Businessman. He's busy lifting some heavy things. Yes. <clears throat> yeah, Ben next time come back with us but anyway thank you guys i appreciate your time and your music i cannot wait for the next single and hopefully i'll have the honor and privilege to uh, be the first one to play that one also but um yes until then ladies and gentlemen it's been me france the planet with punk fontaine on the couch keep it heavy and remember let metal shape you good night <laughs>